Muslevin wrote in the Telegraph about how she felt Harry has lost royal stardust since stepping down from the royal family, claiming he embraced a woke outlook. She said, he seems to have discarded his life as an action man to become an airy fairy do-gooder. It is so out of character for him to lecture us on how to live our lives, don't take flights. Have fewer children. Be aware that unconscious bias can lead to racism. Last year, he was even moved to wonder out loud. What if every single one of us was a raindrop? The royal biographer went on to suggest has accepted being second to Meghan. Following in her footsteps is social activism. Ms. Levin then said the royal family needed Harry during the coronavirus pandemic, claiming he would have excelled at giving people hope. She added, instead, he has tucked his family away in a multi-million dollar mansion in California, making himself look out of touch. The couple's endless announcements about clinching one money-raising deal after another. Before the Spotify contract, there was the eye-watering deal with Netflix, which could net the Sussexes' new production company $100 million could be seen as insensitive at a time when hundreds of thousands of livelihoods were lost. Ending her article, Ms. Levin said the Duke told her he hated living in a goldfish bowl and questioned the public appearances of the Sussexes since stepping down. Express.co.uk has approached the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for comment. She concluded by discussing the upcoming review of Meghan and Harry's status as working royals, and said, it has been reported that Prince Harry now wants a 12-month extension to it. There are several possible reasons. He may miss his family and all the privileges that entails. He may be keen to reconnect with the charities he once supported, and regain his honorary military titles. Or perhaps he just realizes that royalty is forever, but celebrity is not.